Hello everyone, welcome to Boundless Dentistry. In this video, we'll talk about what is overjet, overbite, crossbite, and openbite. And we'll talk about the definitions of these four, the causes, as well as treatment options, particularly for crossbite as well as openbite, which are quite disturbing to the patient, not only aesthetically, but functionally as well. So let's get started. Okay, so talking about uh, overjet first, let me write it down. Overjet. <coughs> now, what is an overjet? Let me draw. This is our maxillary central incisor. And here is the lower incisor. Now, the horizontal distance that is present between them from the tip of the maxillary central incisor right here till the tip of the mandibular central incisor which you can see right here now the horizontal distance between them represented by the blue line is called overjet and overjet is normally present in individuals and it has a value which is a normal value which is of 2 to 4 mm this is a normal value anything more than this or less than this will trouble the patient somehow so we will discuss that in much detail when we talk specifically about overjet in our further videos okay now talking about what factors or are the causes that are associated with increase in overjet now first and foremost the most common habit that the child develops as the child is growing is thumb sucking thumb sucking thumb sucking is the most common uh, cause that results in increase in value of overjet the habit of thumb sucking is normal up till the age of 3 but if the habit continues after 3 years old the dentist have to start interceptive uh, treatment in order the, for the child to prevent developing increased overjet. So there were uh, different options that the uh, dentist suggest if the overjet has been increased. One of the treatment option and the most common treatment option that the dentist suggests is, is the orthodontic treatment which is most commonly known as braces. The braces are used basically so that the uh, maxillary central incisor, if it's proclined, means if it's ahead of its normal position, which increases over bite, or if the uh, mandibular central incisor is in retroclined position, means it's uh, below its uh, backwards from its uh, original position. So in either of the cases, the orthodontic treatment's main aim is to, if it's proclined, it moves it backwards and if it's uh, retroclined, it moves it in the uh, front direction. So this is how an overjet is corrected. Okay, secondly, now talking about overbite. So again, let's draw a central incisor and now we'll draw a mandibular central incisor over here. Now, overbite is basically the vertical overlap between the tip of the maxillary central incisor and the mandibular central incisor. This blue line represents how much overlap a central incisor has on mandibular central incisor. This is known as overbite, the vertical overlap between the central incisor maxillary and mandibular central incisor. This also has a normal value. The normal value is around 2 to 3 mm. We can also represent it as percentages, means how, how, how much the central maxillary central incisor is covering the mandibular central incisor. So the normal value represented in percentages is 20% to 30%. Like for uh, overjet, the causes that, that are associated with increased overbite are firstly thumb sucking
and secondly one more uh, and uh, the one more cause that is associated with uh, overbite is chronic nail biting which is quite frequent in the community uh, chronic nail biting and also sometimes chewing different objects like for example people chew pen tip of the pencils and some other objects as well so this is about overbite and finally the treatment option that usually is undertaken to uh, correct the overbite is like it was for overjet is the use of braces the orthodontic treatment to correct overbite okay now talking about crossbite crossbite is also known as reverse overjet and I'll tell you why it's called so uh, normally when you close your mouth the maxillary uh, particularly the maxillary molars they are present in front of mandibular molars I'll tell you how let's assume this is a mandibular oh sorry the maxillary molar okay now in normally the mandibular molar is present in relation to maxillary molars like this you can see how this the buccal cusp of maxillary molars is present buccally and the buccal cusp of mandibular molar is present lingually to the buccal cusp of maxillary molar so this is the normal relation that is present in a normal individual now in crossbite the relation is reversed simply put now this is again the maxillary molar and now the mandibular molar is present like this so you see the difference now the buccal cusp of the mandibular molar is present buccally to this buccal cusp of maxillary molar now the relation has reversed now the mandibular molar is present buccally as compared to the maxillary molar now there are certain causes that lead to uh, crossbite and the most common cause like before is thumb sucking habit of thumb sucking it leads to many pathologies that's why dentists focus on uh, eliminating this habit as soon as it's detected and as early as it can be okay and also uh, mouth breathing mouth breathing can also lead to this pathology now I can give you a brief idea how mouth breathing leads to this pathology is basically when you breathe through your mouth like if you can try breathing through your mouth the cheeks are exerting a pressure on your maxillary teeth now as the pressure increases on your maxillary teeth the palatal arch in the, the maxillary your teeth they start to constrict now as they constrict this relation develops which you can see right here because maxillary teeth they go towards maxilla and mandibular teeth are uh, they just stay right there and um, the cross bite results here so now treatment option like before is similar which is use of braces most commonly used treatment option cross bite is also present in the anterior teeth like if you close your mouth the like I'll show you how for for the uh, anterior teeth when you close your mouth maxillary incisor or the maxillary anterior teeth they are present uh, labially as compared to the mandibular central incisor something like this this is the normal relation that is present this is normal now I'm gonna draw, draw cross bite that is present in the anterior tooth now in cross bite this is our mandibular central incisor and now the maxillary central incisor is behind the mandibular central incisor so this is how cross bite occurs in the anterior tooth and it's also known as reverse overjet reverse overjet because in overjet normally the horizontal overlap is increased the 
uh, maxillary central incisor is way ahead of the mandibular central so if you reverse this phenomena it's called as reverse over jet or you can call it cross bite both works fine uh, lastly talking about open bite open bite open bite basically means that normally when you close your mouth there is some contact between the maxillary uh, teeth and the mandibular teeth there is contact but in case of open bite this is our maxillary central incisor and this is our mandibular central incisor now you can note this area between them there is no contact between the maxillary central incisors tip and the mandibular central incisor tip there is no contact there is an open space between them so thereby giving the name open bite no contact between the maxillary central incisor and mandibular central incisor the same phenomena can also happen in the mandibular teeth the mandibular and the maxillary teeth posteriorly i'll show you how for example this is our maxillary molar and normally like we have seen before there is some occlusion between them this is how normally it works now in case of open bite there will be no contact between them there is a space so open bite can be present anteriorly as well as posteriorly now some of the uh, causes that are associated with open bite that leads to open bite most frequently is mouth breathing the reason is same as you breathe with your mouth the buccinator muscles more specifically of the cheeks they exert pressure thereby increasing the space between the two teeth we'll talk about this in much detail with mechanisms and the reasons associated with it in our future videos mouth breathing and secondly thumb sucking also leads to this pathology treatment causes treatment causes are a bit different here i'll tell you what are the uh, treatment options for this now since mouth breathing and thumb sucking is a learned behavior the treatments that we can introduce is behavior modification behavior modification simply means that you have to make the child or the adult mostly child because in child this uh, behavior starts and leads to open bite you have to modify their behavior by uh, voluntarily stopping them from doing this behavior or engaging them in some other uh, behavior okay second the second treatment option that is available is again braces it's used most frequently in basically in every sort of orthodontic pathology and lastly if behavior modification and braces fail to treat the patient then we employ surgery to basically make the open bite correct by bringing them into occlusion so these are the treatment options that are available for open bite so so far we've discussed what is overjet its normal value its causes and treatment option same goes for overbite reverse overjet and open bite these are the four basic uh, terminologies that we come across in orthodontics and in our future videos we will talk about much detail individually on each of these so that's it for today if you like this video please share like and comment and any reviews and comments will be highly appreciated please leave that in the comment section thank you very much